Hi guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Bodacious Gamer and this is part two of my playthrough. Um this would have been out on the Monday, it's now gonna be out on the Tuesday if you see this on Tuesday. Um Basically in the first episode we met Arthur Morgan and the uh, Dutch Vandalin gang in kind of a, a snowstorm and we ended up at well, kind of the image what you can see now, we ended up like a like a, a, a derelict barn area. Um and we were escaping from the law at Blackwater, I believe, after a robbery went wrong. Um, and we just kind of got introduced to the characters, and we ended up saving one of our friends, who is actually the protagonist at the first game, um, John Marsden, I believe he's called. We also helped this strange woman, and we got introduced to the Driscoll gang, who are an opposing gang to the Vandalin gang. And it seems like there could be something going on there. Um... I've had a bit of a sneak peek from what's about to happen because I did record this session and then my recording just freaked out essentially. So we're having to go through, I'm having to you know, do it again. So some of this is not a blind reaction to it, but most of it will be. All right, let's just get on with it and I hope you enjoy the episode. Please subscribe, leave comments and I will get back in touch with you as well as soon as possible. All right, please stick around and enjoy. Now, last end of the last episode, we actually woke up in the hut. I believe it's this hut. And so I'm just going to go back inside there, kind of reset where we were. No, it's not this hut. Where is it? I don't think it truly matters. Um, what I will do is... Um, yeah, we could, we could speak to a few people. Oh, actually, before I forget, just before I forget, I put out a question on my first episode to see if anyone would like me to play this first person perspective. So what I've decided to do is, through general interaction with NPCs, the gang, and just other things like that, maybe horse riding, I'm going to stick with a first person perspective. If people don't like it, please comment, and I will just revert back to a, a third-person perspective. I just want to see what it's like. I don't play many first-person games. I think the last one I played was Skyrim. Um, so if, if you do like it, good. Leave a comment. Tell me you, you like it. If you don't, I'll change back to third, and we'll see how that goes from there. Okay? So this is the first-person perspective. And I think it just gives, like, a more personal you know, vibe to it. Like, you are playing as Arthur after all. Stay alert there, Javier. Another cold morning. This might be where we uh, ended the first episode. Yeah. So we were actually in this room here. I think I don't know that. And we got to see the journal, now I believe, that's a satchel, oh, a compass, regular, cool, okay, and you can actually turn the map off as well, so the log's empty, now there is a journal, I'm sure there is, Is it the story? Yeah, chapter one. After a failed robbery, the gang have fled from Blackwater into the Grizzly Mountains. But a late spring storm has left them half frozen and starving. They haul up in an abandoned mining town to lick their wounds and await a break in the weather. Okay. Can't wait to meet a bear. That's a lie. I can wait. I don't want to face a grizzly bear. It's in here. And I saw... How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. It's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. 
Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. So not much to say right now. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. All right, well, I should be getting on. Just gonna try and stay warm. So I think... Um, the more we interact with people and the more the story progresses, you know, we're gonna get to know them, our relationship will deeper with them. And it's kind of the same with horse, like if I go up to horse now... Come on, I wanna pat my horse. Oh, I can't... Oh, oh, I can. Give me a second. I've seen it flashing in and out, so you can do it. Come on. It won't let me pat my horse. Right, we'll move on. So what we'll do is we'll go for the B. And we'll see what's going on there. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! A little bit of discord ah. in the gang. You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. It seems sure like we're going after Driscoll's. Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. There's a compendium updated. We've got a lasso. Southwest. Hold that. So binoculars, a lasso, and a lantern. Okay. There's a hundred and seventy-eight animals. Right, I think I read that right. Yeah. He said, follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. So it looks like someone's being tell, active around here. The fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. 
I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can Look how the snow gets dragged up by the, the back forget. heels, like, or hooves, he shall I say. Annabelle, I can't do neither. I'd Rockstar have just done a tremendous job. They really, really have. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Oh, that all rifle I'm gonna need, I think. Ready. Ready. How do I get all of that? Good. Is it L1 now, or L2? Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Come on then, Dutch. Let's see how this goes. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. I think one of his guys messed up. Should we go get him? No. Colin can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. I'm gonna need me with that rifle though. Don't forget to grab that rifle from There you horse. go, grab the rifle. So weapons not setting your load out before dismounting will remain on your horse. You got it, so Dutch. push horse and hold L1 to view stored weapons. There you go. Good. Come on, let's it's go. Cool. Can I pet my horse? No, I don't want to shoot it. That would have been very bad. Seems easiest Tell you what I do. Path down as Bill and like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. No, yeah, just what let me pet it. That's depressing. Right, guns anyway, back out. You Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on.
I'm trying to walk faster, but you just can't through the snow. It's real hard to get like a good sense of pace. And there's been like we were discussing uh, deep into the game. That the way it's deep here. Careful. But I think it's it's you know an attribute that should be um, celebrated. Not many games can pull this. Not many developers can pull this sort of game off. I think if Bethesda tried to do it, there might be a few glitches along the way. But Rockstar's Rockstar. They always give out a polished game. You know, I'm I'm excited to clean guns and clean my horse and get to know it and take care of it. Oh, by the way, um, anyone got any ideas for a name of a horse? I'll be uh, much appreciated. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. I'll call my horse. Terry for now. Yeah, and just see what happens from there really. If someone had has a name or an idea that I like, I'll I'll go with it. Or if there's a few people that like the same name and it's a vote and it's popular, I'll, I'll go with that too. So just let me know. Right, so two guys there. Yeah, I showed that bastard. Left him in the dirt and walked away. Yes, sir, we thought this boy. Yeah. Get in position, Arthur. Now. this if you want just make the call you want to take the lead go um we don't have time to debate this i'll take the lead okay i'll go first I need to watch my health because I'm about to die. Nope, that's the wrong one. I need the wheel, items, and health. Blue's half. My health's not doing good again. I think I need to uh, learn to use cover a little bit. I'm not doing great, am I?
Well, my health's gone up, but what's this? I need my health core up. Right, okay. That's better. I'm trying. Yes. That was a good shot. Oh, no. they were bad shots. That, yeah, that was definitely a good shot. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. So I need some health stuff. Of course not. And whatever else they've got. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine oh, I killed a few up here. The names of these fools. I got dibs. We need everything we can get off of these bastards. Heads up, boys. We got more coming in from the forest. They've been take out the O'Driscoll, so there's more of them. time and a place and this might not be it but you know a gold wedding band take that and more bullets I will take See him, where are they? Shots. Oh, look at that! They both fell at the same time. That was cool. Uh, yeah, okay, so I've got no bullet. I've got no denial. Where's my guy? He's right next to me. Consumable items are found. 
Uh, and the item will use tonics to restore dead eye. Fluid stores health, stamina, and dead eye. Oh, th that one. Now, is there anything morally reprehensible about, you know, robbing bandits? So yeah, I am trying to play it as, you know, a an outlaw that has a moral guide, a moral compass. You know, so these guys have tried killing us, obviously. I'm following Dutch's orders. I don't really have a choice at this point in the story. Uh, but for me, myself, I... I will be making different, more... I mean, in, if you watched part one, I let that uh, Odris go live. Wow, did you see the snow then? That was awesome. I let Odris go live. And maybe that's why they knew about us. Maybe he went back and told them. Maybe that's different if you do kill him. It's interesting. It's cool to like figure that stuff out, isn't it? And find out if what you've done was in, in the best choice you could make. They've probably been robbed, haven't they? No. Yeah, I know, but I'm getting repeater ammo. Loads of money. And other items I could sell. Well, $1.57. In 1899, that's a lot of money. $2. I'll take it. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Michael. Search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. Coolios. Right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Is anything worth taking for myself? A cigar. Some crackers. Some canned vegetables. Oh. Okay. Well, we've got cigarettes. More canned vegetables. Anything else? Kentucky bourbon, was it? Yep. And another cigar. So it's not a bad haul. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. All How right, guys. You boys? All of you. So I suspect we're gonna be making a bit of noise with that, uh... Good work, fellas. TNT, was it? Bad for some starving and dynamite house. sticks. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be 
that. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. I'm curious to find out more about Blackwater and what happened there. I believe right. Blackwater was in the yeah, first yeah, game. Fellas. Let's make some ground. Yeah, I believe Blackwater was one of the main towns in the first game. Um, it'd be kind of cool to see what you know it looked like prior to. I think it was 1907 or 1905. Hey, the, the first game was set. Leave Let's him keep to going, me. catch him. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, we've got to catch him. Oh, can loot him. Uh, yeah, why not? So while I got Please you. don't. They'll never know. Oh God, no! I'm no use to you, really. I can pat my horse now. Yeah, good boy. What's your name, boy? The shortest I route to the required destination is shown by the yellow line it's on the Kieran. road. Or the Kieran radar, sorry. Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! I'm begging you! Shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Please, I'll do anything. I don't know nothing real about them, honest. Are you trying so to first it was, me I don't know them that well. Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. And I'm now sorry. it's. I've only been okay. with him a few months, so he does know him. God damn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. I bet I best not do it. Fallen off. No, he's still on. That's cool. There was like a slim chance that I'd like, thrown him off the back of my horse.
at the lighting on that fire. Just look at that. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Shit, did you? Yep. <coughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas. Is need shooting? Save fellas? is need saving, and feed him is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train Okay. So we're probably going to rob a train. I'm okay with that. At least doing it once. You okay, Bill? Are we gonna hit this train then? Right. Seems that way. Bill doesn't want to talk. Right, so I've got P to do. Just want to see. Can I have a look at like the mission I've just done? So draw a weight perfect, temperature fair, honor. So there is an honor based system. Health, core seventy five percent, core time eighty minutes, core drain rate eighty five, stamina, dead eye. Cool, okay. And my horse has got its own stats as well, which is incredible. My horse needs cleaning. Regular grooming will prevent your horse from becoming dirty. If your horse becomes dirty, its health will be negatively affected. Okay. While most aspects of your horse's physique are fixed, its weight can change based on how you choose to feed it. Taking care of your horse will increase bonding, which in turn will increase its health, stamina, speed and acceleration. Okay. I mean, this, this is what people were getting at, like how detailed is that? Ten of five hundred and fifty three, what else have I done? I'm actually looking for um oh, here we go. So oh friends Looking for information on the O'Driscoll's planned train job, Dutch leads the gang into attack on their camp. So you can actually go back and just replay missions. That's really cool. So you could just pursue the story mode, or you can just replay missions. John hasn't returned from earlier, and half frozen, close to death, and on the run, the gang finds shelter in an old abandoned mining town. So this is... These are the missions we've done in Chapter 1. But you can go back and redo them and improve your scores and I imagine that's something relevant to a trophy. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's just carry on then. <coughs> so who's this guy? We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Speak Morgan. to your companions by hold I know how to speak to him. Pearson. Okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. 
For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. We need to get there, come on! Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is leave it there. Um, we'll, when we come back, we'll be on this mission with Charles, I believe his name was. And we'll get some food or whatever we're going to hunt down. Now we've got a bow and some arrows, and we'll just carry on from there. This, this episode was really good, we got to go to the Odrisco gang uh, hideout, got a bit of a fight, used Red Eye, and I, I really, really enjoyed it. <sighs> this game's just beautiful. Come on, we should keep moving. Um, I forgot to switch to third person for fighting, but it just felt really natural to stick with first. So for a while, I'll stick with first person. If, if I feel like changing, I'll change it. More importantly, if you guys think I should change it back to third, I will change it to third, and I'll just play through it in third person. If you're enjoying the first person perspective, let me know. Um, that's about it. So, thank you for watching part two of my playthrough. I'll be back with part three. Take care of yourselves. I'm Bodesh Gamer. You're always my Bodesh viewers. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.